Hello everyone, I am Akash. Welcome to my Laravel tutorial. Today I am going to show you a simple task management application in Laravel with some very easy steps. So first, let me show you how we have done in this project. First, we have a very, we have some task list. Some task list. We have create task, edit task, and delete task. In task list, I have show is show some task when it's created at its status when it's last updated at and if it's delay it's done and it's like deleted and in edit mode we can change the status also i've just created it with a very basic knowledge of php and laravel so let's start here's my devcnb website where i have some put some little documentation of it so requirements we need zamp or wamp you can download it from here we have to install composer get composer.org download and add composer add composer in path then install git so compose to install zamp we have to go this and download any of the version like 8.0 or 7.4 and then we have to install composer get composer.org for windows composer setup.exe and if PHP not in path, we have to add that in the path like this. First, go to environment variable, add to path, and see them PHP. Only if PHP is not in the path. Okay, let's create the project. To create the project, we can go to this link installation via composer. Composer create project Laravel Laravel example app go to xamp docs and i've created a tutorial folder you can create your own or not control control shift open powershell window here paste it here example i'm going to rename it laravel tutorial it's creating it's laravel version 8.5.9 it will take two or three minutes based on your internet connection and all. Okay, project installed successfully. Then we have to move Laravel tutorial. Okay, clear. To run the project, PSP partition serve. It will create a server in localhost 8000. Let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, it's a fresh Laravel project with version 8.25, PSP version 7.4 or up to 8. I'll open the project in code, VS code. We can also get the terminal from control shift backtick in VS code. First, we'll go to route slash web.php. There's a basic route which is for view welcome. Here's the view. Let's change this to check. Just delete this body. Welcome to Laravel. Save and check. Refresh. So that's perfect. So we have changed it. So at first, I'm going to create a controller. PSP artisan make controller task controller task controller. And then with resource, hyphen R means with resource. So controller created successfully. Controller is inside app slash HTTP controllers. Here is the task controller. Okay, so I have a controller with some functions like index, create, store, show, edit, update, destroy. It's for the crude operations. So, okay. So I'm going to show like for welcome or for slash route or root route, I'm not going to use direct view like this. I'm going to use controller task controller and it will import here task controller class. Then in class, there's what I'm going to show it in index function index okay i'm going to give it a name route name route name will like index that's it save and it's in task controller return 
hello from controller save it and check okay hello from controller and it's a simple string so in our demo like this we have added bootstrap for CSS so let's do this also here clear the things okay let me do some commenting like we have installed fonts bootstrap css then in bottom bootstrap js okay so go to getbootstrap.com and docs and get started it's version 5.0 so in quick start just copy the css paste the css in bootstrap css since save copy the js files i am going to use the bundle if you are not using bundle you have to use the tools js files so bootstrap js paste it here okay so first let's test if bootstrap install successfully do you class container save and check okay it's not showing love because we're not going to return view welcome okay here is some container class so bootstrap is installed successfully okay so first make the layout like for never then body first make the layout okay so get the never code from bootstrap never copy this never nav paste it here and make div container never will be task app save refresh so here's so we're going to say like um, navigation bar already added also we drop down so clear the necessary links from here Now we will use Laravel's resource route resource resource for like task and it will be task controller class this and in task controller I have added everything like a rest concept like everything Laravel preferred index for list create for create view store for store store function show for show view edit for edit view update for update update task function destroy for delete so it's everything's as usual and we can see PSP addition rl route list we are going to see like uh, routes uh, the all of the routes and its name so i can access route task.index will be show all task list task create create will be create view so let's check in welcome I'm going to make it new task and edit the route URL route tasks dot creators or suggestion save and check refresh new task okay so it's URL changed and there's no error Be there's no error because it's uh, actually empty you can make a string return create well oh, it's done okay so now i'm going to change this name welcome will be index all task will be here and definitely task controller i have to change the view also for index okay so let's check one more time if everything's working or not save okay everything's working 
okay so for body I'll going to will container and add some padding like p5 it's for my tasks and edit a class pv3 and then that card card body card header will be task first task first task and then in in card body we'll use card text Lorem sum let's check refresh so here is my task and it's, it's good so uh, look at this now we have some many we have some routes like list create edit like three three view route right route right so we have to create create a common layout or shared layout for which we can share all of them to three routes so just create a you could copy rename this as layout layout and make a function make a file index dot blade dot php and in layout i'm not going to add these things like here we are will extend extends these layouts view extends layouts extends layout that means we are going to access all of the component all of the things from layout and we can also add things here and to dynamically invocable something we'll just cut those things and yell function yield 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 will be um, i will going we can give it any name like main content it's the section name and in here going to v section main content section will be main content and here paste the things for, for list save it and check if it's working refresh okay it's as working as well and my task first task test check it's, okay. refresh first test test good okay then create some another view to check if it's working create dot blade php it will be new task save and in task controller return view create save it refresh so new task wow it's new task so route is working perfectly with a with with layout so we can create as many more routes with just basic basic things for that okay we have designed file folder structure now it's time to create database okay so in env i'm going to create laravel tutorial laravel tutorial and go to database php my admin new database name laravel tutorial create okay i'm just creating this here now we're going to make a model php addition make model task task model with migration if an m means migration it will create a model and a, and a migration enter look at this here will be create a model task and in database i'll be create a create tasks migration okay so go to create tasks migration and modify it as our needs table and we need a worker like title by default it's 255 table and a description will be a text text type it will be description and we will make it nullable description could be null and table will make some enum field enum field for status like it could be 
an array to do or done okay and default will be true okay so save and run the migration please be a region migrate okay so where's some your enum okay sorry it will be enum not enum here this version migrate refresh it will create re drop all migration and create new migrations from these files so go to database and refresh it to check all of the details come here level tutorial so we have some we have a task stable we have users all of this users for these tables right we don't need that we will just work on this task okay so we have created a table and here is the model model is by default will mention this tasks table so it will level will do this and if we want to change the model like we want to change the table name then we can do is like uh, task table or tbl task whatever we can do but it's not necessary like okay first thing first first we will create this design like my task it's left side and this button is right side and here's the design so let's do this so first inside this div div dot float start and then h4 this and same for float and for right side this will be button a ref create task and will be route task dot create okay so we'll make it a button btn btn info save all shift f Fresh. Just create page. Go to the home page. Okay, so that's not good. We have to use clarifix deep dot clarifix. Save and check. Refresh. Oh, okay. So let's create task and we'll design it like this. Let's design. This is a badge, just copy a badge from here. Badge. It's a peel badge. Badge like this. Info. Copy this. Straight. Here is time and it's warning. Okay. Okay, star. Okay, and there is also the status. Status is also same as this. So it's bg info and like to do. And after that, there is time. Small last updated. There is will be time. It will be dynamic. I'm just creating the demo design. Okay, and one more thing like this is two column and this is slot left and this is float slot start and this is slot end so just design is like this same copy this cut text paste it here and in in the float start all of the content will go here float start hold shift f to organize it and then in float end cut and copy this button it will be task.edit and edit route like one edit edit btn btn success and another could be delayed danger it could be delayed 
okay save and check reload so design it is done so now from task controller let's get the all of the task tasks equal to task so it will import automatically from here task and get the get all the task like we can get get it will get all the task so that and if we die and dump tasks we can see the task okay this item is empty because there is no tasks in here if we like manually insert one item first task sorry in tasks insert first task description and to do and let's now say go let's refresh here you can see there is a one task one more task model and inside this we can get this value okay okay so uh, we'll not dump it we'll pass it's compact to pass that task to pass that task from this controller to view we'll use this compact function and in and inside this we can access now the data like this like we can use php to test if we have got the tasks here random tasks now here refresh so yeah that's my task and then random that means we have got the task in in our views that's perfect so next just loop for b for each for each b for each tasks as task and this is the single task all right this is the single designed task so paste it here all shift f to organize and this is the title right so we can just show yet task title let's check refresh refresh wow first task now just change it first task to second task refresh oh it's second task this come from database perfect next we are going to show the time time will be task created at d for humans d for humans is the difference time refresh wow five hours from now actually i have created task from here it's five hours from now okay next put the task description copy this paste it here with description okay so this is not this is to do and last updated at, last updated will be task updated at it's not created at last updated will be updated at okay and this id is for, is actually static now it will be dynamic like task task of id that's it and again for this to task id okay so let's check refresh and this is first task like from this description that's perfect and it status okay and edit let's check check there is a dynamic id okay and in our view we have one more logic like if task status equal equal to do task status equal to to do it is it was like that else else it was like busy success it is done okay so refresh it's actually the same like if we just change to do to done we can change its impact refresh for well, it's done and actually for done we will use this white text white refresh wow well, that's perfect okay so now it's time to create task 
okay for create task i am going to use this view copy this and paste this here create task and all tasks task and index okay so then in this div card i'm going to delete all the things get a form design from bootstrap form we are going to use this form it's very simple copy this and paste this here okay and then we're going to also some styles like card body and bg light and p4 some padding okay save and check refresh and create task oh this is tasks some error actually mm. task controller i'm going to show sorry it's in for each it will not be in for each it's a single task refresh okay so this is nice design create task that's good but we will you have to change this the email address will be title and this will be for also title we don't need any more help it will be text no need to this email help and definitely for php we need the name title input name okay so this is title and all shift i have to organize it duplicate it will be for description and description and description will be a text area not a text input text area and text area and form control i will make it some rows rows equal to five and then there is a status status okay for status i am not going to use um, direct value i am going to use level uh, an array just a status is added with level and value okay so and then pass it a compact statuses i'm going to pass pass it. we can make it also dynamic from get this statuses from database also okay then there is no need of this text area just make a select box select status id status from control and just look through the statuses as single status value will be statuses value and level will be statuses level okay so save, save it and check refresh wow title description and the status that's perfect and to save okay it's, it's for perfect so now make that forms actual work like action route and task dot not create it will be task dot store and method will be post and definite one more thing at csrf we have to include this for csrf protection okay save and mm, in task controller we have to store it okay so before store we just validate like request validate an array like title title will be required okay title will be required just this validate then just create task equal to new task new task then task um, title equal to request title request title and again like task title or task description or task status that's it and then finally save the task it's very simple in laravel okay and that's it so next just re redirect to home page return redirect route index index so save it 
and check so refresh task first nice task test to do save wow it's saved and redirect like like first nice task and let's check the database wow it's added so one more thing in our it will not like the ascending order we'll get this in order by descending right order by id dsc order by id descending so refresh it wow the latest is the fastest okay so it's now in todo so our create is create task is done and edit task will be the almost same as this just copy this create views copy rename edit.blade.php that's it and it will be not create task will be edit task okay and and task controller like for create um, i am copy the, the this for edit also edit it will be edit edit view and not only the status i have to get also the task right single task for this id okay and this is very simple task find or fail find or fail so if the task is found found on the database it will get the task model and if not found it will throw an exception okay so just pass this task in the compact and here real ref refresh and check edit so task two working and we want to show the title description from the previous field right okay so first check if we we can get the task data or not like task title and make it a like span dot badge dot badge bg1 bj info okay save okay first edit task first nice test wow it's perfect and then there is no need of this okay so for all of this like we have to add another value value will be task title this value will be task description right text area for for this task description and then for status i have to select it if the task is checked or not like this if this task status like this task status is a ternary operator this task status so is this option equal equal this task value are the same then we will make this selected it's just a basic ternary operator save it let's check refresh so let's check this data is from come from data come from database and go back mm, this is done so let's make it edit wow this status is also selected right okay so next next do the update work task dot store not task dot update and i have to pass the id task id and it is not a post route actually uh, so we have to add the method method will be put put for um, edit or put type route so this is a put type route so i have to add this method put okay so in task controller in create this is the simple create and edit all of actually the same same in update is actually the same only i have to find the task first task task first, and there is no need to create new task right save okay so let's check refresh edit first so do breakfast do breakfast do breakfast with mila save wow do breakfast with mila it's updated four minutes ago and last updated one second ago it's perfectly fine and if i want to update the status to do 
like edit to do to done save wow it's done that's perfect and one more thing let's see the demo like do breakfast check it if, if it's done this will this deal deal an attribute will be added okay so add this so in index for like same as this paste it here and not the to do it will be the title sorry if it's to do it's as simple as this but but else it will not like this it will be with a deal okay with a deal okay let's check so there is no new title here let's check refresh so fine it's done okay and also i will check for this or uh, this like task description this will be used okay all shift f deal is this thing this is perfect okay so make this bold make this h5 as card header refresh well breakfast and if i if i did it with to do save okay it's good perfect so our task list is perfect create is perfect and and edit is also perfect and let's check breakfast with mila at um, at 7 a.m save wow mila at 7 it's perfect so final step is delete the task so let's do that so in delete i'm not going to use this i'm going to use a form action will be route it will be task dot destroy right and id will be task of id right and inside the form just paste cut this and paste it and make this a uh, make this button right button and there is no need to in button there is no need to, to put this wrap it is type submit return return danger wow and so look at this there's a there will be a problem refresh and and bottom so i am just adding is an inline style style mm, display in line you can make it uh, another in style it's up to you okay so let's check okay it's perfect and mm, and i have to add the csrf and b method method would be delete right delete will be delete delete route okay and mm, one more thing like uh, so let's check and uh, we have to create we have to add the functionality for destroy function delete work will be will come here and it will be deleted so first we have to find this task and if this task exists we will just delete the task it's very simple just delete the task delete is task delete to delete any model we you can just call this right and it's actually done by laravel eloquent so if you have any query about laravel eloquent you can get the eloquent documentation from here eloquent eloquent ORM. okay so eloquent ORM, you can get like well, we have created the model you can get all of the documentation from here and you can work like that okay okay save and check if task delete or not refresh and just second task i'll delete the second task Boom. oh so it's not uh, not method is okay i have not put the method or post right by default it's a it's a get method so there's a problem delete wow it's deleted it's perfect now we will show if the task length is empty then we will show an alert so how i will do that so b if count it's php function count it will count an array length equal count of task equal equal zero then we will just 
should div um, alert dot alert danger and make some padding p2 okay so no task found please create one task so we can also add this create button here for him create task refresh wow it's perfect so this create task should him sub break take also refresh and possible to be dnsm okay that's perfect there is no task so notice as found please create one create task first task test save first task one second ago another task another task okay another task and save it's working and let's add also some margin from the items like pt3 heading top 3 mm, sorry it will be margin top 3 refresh wow it's perfect so another task final task final task will done save it's final task done and just edit edit do it to do save Oh, it's perfect. Final task updated. Update is fully working. Okay. So now final step is to include the font awesome, right? Font awesome CDN. Got this. And just copy this tag, all this mean, and include it in layout. Fonts. Okay. Okay. So font awesome. Let's check this like well, first create in here uh, class ff plus circle create task and paste it here also and save okay that is wow it's nice looking and also in this pages like I plus F F arrow left save fresh wow it's perfect and very nice and also there is a button called cancel in here and this save will be success and it will be F F check for a check button okay and create a left button with route index and ff arrow left save controller okay it's left wow it's perfect and will uh, same for this edit and uh, edit okay just copy this edit paste this here save save and all task also for all task create okay so it's perfect and very lo nice looking and also we can we can add some icon for this also like an index we can add card body edit ff pencil or ff maybe edit and ff bin for delete trash for delete okay let's check refresh wow it's edit delete and it's perfect we can we can actually delete this it's no need to show wow it's perfect so to delete just delete this wow it's deleted to edit done save Oh, that's perfect actually in create view this will be success 
he did as well so save it and success save it refresh so new task it's perfect and home these icons are not working let's working it so it will be route index route index and both of this route index so that's it home perfect so um our little task management application in laravel is perfect and fully done you can get the source code and link in the description please subscribe to my channel and i think you will get some very easy tutorials with laravel and you can get very complex example easily so stay with me and keep me in your prayers bye bye